Lucky everything's full of water. It's gonna be a hard day. Hopefully nobody sinks. My sled weighs about three, 400 pounds, maybe more. So I could sink real easy. If we have to, we're gonna have to unload the sled and just skip down the water. We'll do whatever we have to do to make it. Let's get the hell out of here. There's a lot of things that could get you out here. Uh, you could fall through the lakes when you're going on a snow machine and you could fall into sloughs. Sometimes there'll be swirls and actual open holes where you could drive right in. You gotta really watch your ass. It's, you can die in a hurry. It's 55 degrees and ice is quickly giving way to open water. You could fall right in anywhere. You drown, otherwise you crash, and that ice will peel your face right off. Oh, it's in the water. Broke the belt. If you sink a snow machine and you're facing a nine-hour walk home, there's a lot of water that you have to walk through, and hypothermia could set in. We had to go right into the sloughs, bank to bank water, and snow machines were drowning out. How are we going to do it? Let's pull you down to Donnie Hole Lake, at least. Let's hook you right through the back rack and through your skis. Let's get the out of here. I actually had to pull Robert's snuggle for a few miles. It's really slowed us down. You're supposed to get home before it gets that bad. We stayed there one day too long, but there was no geese, so that's why we kind of pushed it. 